All right. Welcome, everyone. My name is Jason McClellan with Insurance Advisors Direct. Welcome to our Friday webinar series. Uh, many of you might have noticed we've been doing these on a pretty consistent basis just about every Friday uh, this year, and we will continue that throughout the remainder of this year um, and going forward. And we like to bring you different uh, sales ideas, different topics related to the insurance industry, maybe new products, new selling features, ideas, uh, marketing, lead generation, and so forth, anything we can really do to help enhance uh, your sales practice, and again, with Insurance Advisors Direct to simplify your success. So today, again, we're going to be talking about the top 14 sales ideas for 2020. Now, everyone currently is uh, fully muted, so if you do have some questions, if you can go ahead and put those in the attendee chat. Uh, looks like uh, we've got a couple comments. I appreciate that. So the audio is fine and uh, video seems to be good. So hopefully with the weather and with obviously a much heavier burden on the networks these days uh, that uh, we'll be able to make it through this full presentation. And we're going to move pretty quickly. Uh, some slides we may spend a little bit more time on uh, than others, but uh, certainly if you have any additional questions, please ask a question. We'll try to answer those. We'll also be following up with each person who has uh, joined us this morning. And uh, also these recordings will be available uh, both by links that we can send to you or will also be posted on our YouTube channel. Um, so again, hopefully everyone is uh, staying in and, uh, and staying safe. So uh, quite uh, a unique situation we're all in. And uh, as you've seen and will be seeing more from us, uh, we have moved a lot of our events, actually most all of our events, to a uh, webinar or virtual platform. Uh, in the near future, we will have some not only just webinar platform trainings and um, events, but we'll actually be doing some video trainings and events. So we're going to obviously utilize all technology that we have at our fingertips uh, to make sure that we're continuing to deliver the same training, support, and service that all of you expect from Insurance Advisors Direct. So again, thank you for joining us this morning. So our top 14 sales ideas for 2020. We like to do this uh, just about every year as we emerge uh, from our winter hibernation state and just talk a little bit about some of maybe the new products, features, training materials that we will be bringing out to you as independent agents throughout 2020 and certainly maybe just give you some good ideas on what we can uh, offer to you in your sales practice. I do hear. I did get a notice here. Someone said the audio is not good. Are we having an issue with audio? Okay. Can everyone hear me? All right. I'm showing. I'm getting audio. So hopefully, um, maybe it's not on our end. Maybe it's on uh, the agent's end. But it looks like we're getting some feedback. And it may be cutting out a little bit. Okay. Again, I know we have some storms going through here. I know we've lost some connections. So we'll try to make it through uh, and hopefully not be too painful here. So package and cross-selling, it's something that we continue to promote on a year-to-year -year basis. And it's still something we, we tend to get a lot of questions on. So what we have done at Insurance Advisors Direct is really created a whole package and cross-selling system to help agents who want to approach that conversation with their clients to do it in a professional way, to do it in a more easy to understand way by presenting essentially solutions. And so here you see a couple sample pieces that we've created. We have many more that can be included into our package and cross-selling kit, and we will do some additional advanced training on these. Because remember, uh, your clients come to you, maybe you started the relationship for life insurance, maybe it was Medicare focus, but certainly your clients, their family have additional needs. They have additional events that may occur in their life. They have different uh, points of their life. Maybe they're moving into retirement. Maybe their uh, kids have, have grown and moved out. So at each stage of their life, they're obviously going to need to talk to a professional 
about additional solutions. So if maybe you say, well, I handle Medicare or I handle their health insurance or I handle their life insurance, again, it's important to be equipped with other solutions but to also have some of the tools to properly present those solutions so that it makes sense uh, and that they can obviously utilize you and your expertise to make sure they have the right protection at those various stages of their life. So again, if you have more questions on this, we will be doing some additional in-depth training, but you would certainly have access, if you're a contracted agent with Insurance Advisors Direct, you would have access to these selling tools. We're going to get a little bit more into detail on various products and how you can utilize those cross-selling techniques. Number two here, get your Medicare sales and marketing kit. So now we talk a little bit about the Medicare sales and marketing kit. Of course, Medicare is a heavy focus uh, for IAD and with our agent population across the country. But of course, we do many, many other products uh, and work with many carriers amongst those product lines. So again, we have sales and marketing kits available to you to utilize, to train yourself, to be educated, and also go into your appointments with the correct tools and proper presentation material. So if that's something that you're in need of, please let us know. In addition to just providing some of those tools, we have all of the training that goes into it. We do a lot of virtual training events like this so that we can conduct these across the entire country. And we also have uh, many live events that we'll put on in a variety of states where we can meet with you face-to-face -face and talk about some of these selling techniques. And you may also find us at some of the larger national industry conferences. Now, in Unfortunately, most of those have been canceled that were scheduled for the next couple of months or they're being postponed. But once we can, we hope to be back out and face-to-face -face working with you and doing some additional training on these sales and marketing kits. Uh, now, when we talk about package and cross-selling, one of the key products that we think is very valuable is hospital indemnity. Now, I was just meeting with some agents yesterday that actually talked about how they utilize hospital indemnity uh, at every Medicare Advantage sale, and that probably is one of the areas that it's most effective and seems to fit most properly is to cover some of the gaps that may appear in a Medicare Advantage. Now, the great part about if you go into our quoting tool, you can run some comparisons with Medicare Advantage plans, maybe even Medicare supplement plans, but you can essentially fill those gaps. You can choose a hospital indemnity product. You can go through that chart fill the gaps that maybe that Medicare Advantage that you plan to enroll them in uh, may be creating. And again, many of the Medicare Advantage plans are attractive. Why? Well, because our clients, maybe their uh, income is at a level that they can't afford a high-cost premium. Maybe a Medicare supplement isn't an option. So a zero premium Medicare Advantage plan is very attractive. But we know that those plans do still have some exposure areas and for maybe a very low cost, $20 or so a month, they can uh, uh, fill those gaps. It's a great solution, especially in the environment we're in. Think about uh, what people are concerned about. Now, we know Medicare Advantage plans have stepped up and said that they'll cover some of the testing and some of the other expenses involved with this COVID-19. But again, if somebody may be unfortunately becomes hospitalized or uh, maybe it's it's for some other reason uh, you know a lot of people this time of year you know it is cold and flu season and for the older population maybe that could cause them to have to be hospitalized or uh, maybe utilize their Medicare Advantage plans more frequently this first part of the year and again a low-cost hospital indemnity is a nice way to protect them from those unexpected out-of-pocket expenses. So just another idea to use. And again, some of our training materials, some of our package selling pieces actually will help you to present the Medicare Advantage with a hospital indemnity and maybe some other solutions, which is also well within what's allowed and what's included on the scope of appointment. Uh, number four, discover an untapped Medicare market. Now, we do a lot of training on this particular topic uh, throughout the year. 
we speak at a lot of events. We put on a lot of training events when we talk about the group retiree medical space or group Medicare products. Uh, that is actually a market that is uh, growing dramatically. There are a lot of small, medium, large groups in the public and private sector that are running into financial concerns, and much of it is due to their obligations for health care coverage to the retirement population. That is a huge population. It's continuing to grow. So those challenges will, will continue to exist and will continue to uh, matter to, again, public and private companies, anything from a small single person company all the way to a large uh, uh, international corporation in some cases. So if you're curious about how to get involved in the group Medicare space, please reach out to us. Uh, we have some trainings on our YouTube channel. Uh, we're always doing some trainings on these products. Again, because we're so heavily involved in the Medicare space, we want to make sure that you're uh, aware of the other solutions within Medicare. It's not just about Medicare Advantage or Medicare supplements. There are many other plans out there that can do a better job and become a better solution to your clients. And as you can see, we actually specialize in a product that will go down to group sizes of one life. So if group is something you're involved in or you run across one, please reach out to us and let us uh, talk to you a little bit more about this opportunity. Number five, offer your Medicare supplement. Uh, looks like we missed a word here, but offer your Medicare supplement clients a low-cost PDP. Well, you know, this is important, and the reason why we bring this up, and if you're an agent that says, hey, that's a standard pro uh, process for me, uh, that's right within my, you know, sales presentation, then good. You're doing a great job, uh, but we do talk to a lot of agents across the country who have still kind of kept away from the PDP space. So let's talk about the reason why it's important to be involved in the PDP part of your client's business. First off, I look at it, if you're a Medicare advisor, and this is a, an area that you're an expert in, I feel it's very important that it's our fiduciary role to be part of the complete process. Um, you know, I don't see where it would make sense to only partially help with or bring in partial coverage for your clients. Let's face it, they're required to get into a PDP when they're uh, in Medicare or else that could result in, in penalties. They may not know this. They need your assistance and guidance to understand that. Uh, when they are making a decision, why wouldn't you want to offer your expert advice on what they could be enrolling into? We know what solutions are out there. We know it's a very confusing space. There's a lot of different plans, different formularies, different premiums. Some plans change every single year. You know, it can be a, a very fluid market, and you would want to be involved helping to guide your clients to a proper decision, and especially a low-cost one. Now, this premium range we talk about is with Envision RX, one of our, actually our top PDP on a national level. Uh, and one of the reasons why we focus so much on the Envision product is because they've done a great job since they came into the agent space. They've been a PDP as an auto enroll plan since day one, but they decided to offer an agent product a few years back, and they've done a tremendous job. And when I meet with their executive team, their head actuary, they're very much committed to offering and being in the low-cost space for PDP. So you're not going to find an extremely rich formulary. We know for clients that are taking high-cost medications, they may need to look elsewhere. But if you have some of those clients who are either on low usage, generics, no usage, they need to enroll into a plan, why not choose a low-cost one? And also a low-cost one that we have the comfort of knowing that that's the space they want to stay in. They don't want to grow and change these premiums. And if you look at the track record the last couple of years, they've done a great job at actually lowering their premiums. And in some states, we even saw those lowered again this last year. So again, they're following through on their commitment to this space. One of the other reasons we would recommend being involved in the PDP process is too, if they have a problem, let's say they did go through this enrollment process on their own, 
more than likely if they have a problem, they look to you as their Medicare advisor. They're probably going to contact with those you with those questions and problems uh, anyways. Um, and thirdly, uh, we talk to agents and show them that for maybe the hundreds of clients that they have, that they may not be enrolling them into a PDP. Well, let's face it, uh, you're all business owners. Uh, you're out there doing your job. Why not be rewarded and paid for doing a better job by bringing in a good PDP? I talked to some agents who decided a few years back, okay, we're going to offer these products, and they kind of laugh when they tell me the size uh, commission checks they get on a yearly or on a monthly basis. They never thought a PDP could add up to much, but it really does. So, again, another important revenue stream for you as a business owner and also, we've talked to some agents that have started to specialize in PDP products. They actually go in and talk to these people, not about a low-cost Medicare supplement. That's kind of been done for many years. They go in and talk about a low-cost prescription drug plan, how they can save these people maybe hundreds if not thousands of dollars a year in their premiums, in their co-pays, um, in their co-insurance amounts. And they go into the drug part of it first and once they've uh, gotten that individual's attention and trust by helping them through this more complicated uh, part of their planning, then they're more than willing to talk to them about a Medicare supplement. So I talk to some agents now that actually use this as their prospecting tool. So if you're not doing it, we highly recommend that you do and to stay involved with your clients through the whole process of their Medicare planning. Number six, earn free leads by writing business with IED. So we talk a lot about marketing and prospecting. You know, that's just as important as having the right products, the right insurance solutions for your clients is helping you to grow your business, stay in front of more people, um, and market yourself. So we do a lot of training around marketing. Um, we do have uh, every year a lead co-op program. So if you're appointed with us, you are automatically enrolled in that co-op program. We'd be happy to send you the details on it. We've expanded it this year to cover additional product lines from limited medical to uh, life insurance to annuities to Medicare supplements, Medicare Advantage. So now you can earn those lead dollars or those marketing co-op dollars. The other thing we've done, and we won't talk about it too much, but the Elite Advisor Program, we have actually created a program that we support agents on a monthly basis. We actually pay for their leads. Uh, we pay for their uh, lead management tools. We uh, invite them to special uh, meetings and events that we host throughout the year, uh, trips and other perks and incentives that agents who are working with us more closely, writing more business, uh, you could actually qualify for an elite advisor status. So if you have any interest in that, just let us know. We can fill you in on some of the details and what it takes to become an elite advisor. Number seven, increase your Medicare supplement commissions with this simple technique. So this is something that... Um, you might already be doing. But as the years have gone by, and this was kind of a standard practice for most agents a number of years ago, uh, back when like Michigan went to the three-year levelized commission, some of the other states went to six-year levelized commission. And so those commissions have been changing over the years. And what we tend to find is that um, agents are more and more putting their clients into a plan, um, and they're just letting them stay there. Now, that's creating two problems. One, it's creating a problem for your client because their premiums are continuing to grow. Uh, those usually aren't going down. So if they're growing every year and that happens for six, seven, eight years, that premium can get pretty high. Uh, the second thing that's happening is that your commissions are changing. Now, with some carriers, we know that you may lose commissions or most of your commissions after a few years or you might have a reduced commission down to a very low percentage. Well, if that's the case, again, that's not helping either you or your client. 
So what we have been working with agents on is showing them how to just simply go back to your clients, talk to them about what other options exist. Now, they may be already contacting you and saying, hey, you know, my premiums have gone up the last few years. Can we look at a lower cost alternative? But if they're not bringing up that conversation, it would be important for you to start that conversation, especially in today's environment with most of us staying in. Uh, We may not be out in the field as actively right now this moment. Why not pull out your list? Why not start calling your clients? And one of the products that we've been heavily promoting the last uh, few months has been the Capital Life product. Uh, the Capital Life product has a great e-platform. We just did a training on it this week, which our video will be released, I believe, early next week. But they have a great e-platform that can allow you to actually go through point-of-sale underwriting Uh, And we're getting answers and decisions from the underwriters within 10 minutes. So you may want to just make an effort, pull out your list of clients, see those who have been in the same plan for six, seven, eight years, give them a call. Just let them know you'd like to offer to show them some lower cost solutions within the same letter plan they currently have. You can do a very simple e-app process and be told immediately whether they're approved or not. So there's no reason for you to actually spend time, gas money, going out to visit these people. And at the end of that, what you'll probably find is that you may have saved them maybe a few hundred to a thousand dollars a year, if you're talking about a couple, maybe even more than that, and you've started over your commission cycle. So we've talked to some agents who have sold some products and they have literally hundreds of clients rolling into their year seven and they're getting paid very little on those commissions and when you do the math, they're missing out on tens of, not hundreds of thousands of new commissions. And again, their clients may be suffering because they're not getting a lower cost option and solution. So again, you want to use your best judgment, but this is just something that we tend to hear from agents more and more. And we're surprised to find that more agents aren't taking advantage of reaching out to their clients and using this technique, which is really a benefit to both you and your client. So just a simple technique. Number eight, short-term care, long-term care. Now, you know, I come from a long-term care background, so to me, I feel it's a very important part of the planning. Now, unfortunately, the long-term care industry has gone through a lot of changes the last 10 or 15 years, and so we may be looking at more long-term care hybrid products or your simplified short-term care products, but we would still recommend uh, contacting us if you need some help, if you need some quotes, if you need some directions on what plans are available, but certainly make this part of your conversation. Just because on the business side we've run into some challenges on long-term care does not mean that that problem has gone away. It does not mean that people do not need a solution or wouldn't like some guidance from you. So we do have some supplemental forms. We have some additional selling sales training that we can put in your hands. But definitely reach out to us and let us know if this is something you'd like to get more involved in and learn a little bit more about how to properly present or bring up the conversation with your clients. Number nine, limited medical. So... We all know that uh, since the ACA plans were introduced, that many people have been asking for lower cost health insurance alternatives. We see that that environment has been changing with the new administration. We see that some of those penalties have been eliminated. So it really does open the door for alternative options you may want to take a look at limited medical. I know some agents who like to use short-term medical or maybe you're more inclined to utilize uh, some other solution, maybe a faith-based solution. We have recently seen a lot of pushback in that space. As a matter of fact, we just got a letter from California Department of Insurance that you are no longer allowed to solicit uh, faith-based programs because they're not insurance products. You as a licensed insurance product and the fact that they are not filed with the Department of Insurance, you cannot represent those programs. So we're starting to see some pushback on those programs which we have been talking about since they came into existence. So we really would recommend that if you have any interest and you have those clients that they want a lower cost, simplified solution, 
definitely look at limited medical. We have seen that as a growing market the last few years, uh, and we'll certainly help get you more involved in that. Number 10, ask your clients, who do you have your cancer insurance with? Uh, we even have a Susan G. Komen endorsed product that we've mentioned here. Uh, the nice part about that program is it actually doubles the benefit for someone who is diagnosed with breast cancer. But such a simple question, and some of our top cancer producers say that's really all they do. And let's face it, cancer is a, a, a topic that... And we don't like to talk about, but unfortunately, I, I can probably confidently say it has affected and impacted all of our lives. It's affected and impacted all of our clients' lives. Many people don't know there's insurance out there that can actually help them. And how can it help them? Well, it can help them uh, pr be protected from the financial burden. Maybe it's a loss of income because that person can't work any longer. Maybe it's... Um, uh, the inability to take care of family and household responsibilities. Uh, so there's extra costs or expenses there. Maybe the spouse has to quit their job to help, uh, uh, you know, with their, their spouse that's dealing with this. Maybe there's travel expenses. There are plans out there that are designed to pay in a lump sum. There are some plans designed to pay on a schedule of benefits. So there's a multitude of options to fit person's needs. Uh, maybe you find that these are solutions that could open the doors to maybe it's experimental or maybe it's uh, cost of care uh, going out of the country or something that's not approved. We see a lot of people investigating those alternatives. Um, we have a close, close family friend going through this right now and they fought with the insurance company over and over. It was an experimental drug, but it costs about $20,000 a month. Uh, fortunately, they were able to get it approved, and now it's helping. It's actually doing a great job, and, and that person's numbers are recovering. But without that approval, they couldn't have afforded that solution. But maybe a cancer product would have helped that. And trust me, those are the type of people that I've heard from who have asked me to come in and sit down with the spouse and others to recommend which plans they should be looking at. So again, it's not that difficult if we're in this environment where we're staying in and we call our clients just to keep in touch, maybe ask them this question and maybe you can make that part of your next annual review. It's a pretty easy question to ask and there's a lot of great low-cost cancer plans out there. Number 11, dental vision hearing. Again, something that we see uh, that is asked for uh, a lot of seniors as they get into their Medicare benefits. Uh, now we see Medicare Advantage has really responded. They've done a great job at adding some nice enhanced dental vision hearing plans. So maybe that's what you're already selling. Maybe that's what you're utilizing, and that's great. But if you're selling more in the Medicare supplement space, we know that that's something that still is left open. And some of these clients that you have definitely ask about it. I know I talk to agents all the time that say their clients ask. Now, they may not be actually offering a solution, but their clients are asking. So we would recommend to have a good solution for a nice comprehensive dental vision hearing. Some are more indemnity-based. Some are more network-based on a HMO or DHMO platform or maybe even on a PPO platform. But if you'd like some comprehensive solutions, give us a call, let us know, and we'll help walk you through what plans exist and show you which plans might make sense for your business. Okay, number 12, boost your income by offering final expense. Again, we have a whole sales and training package around final expense. If you're not selling final expense or uh, low-cost life insurance, uh, permanent life insurance, we would definitely recommend. There's a number of reasons why it's important to talk to people about. It's a low-cost solution to give them some coverage, maybe for uh, their end-of-life expenses, um, something that their family can maybe utilize to pay off bills. There's a number of reasons that people want to purchase final expense. But again, we would recommend exploring that with your clients. Maybe that conversation turns into a need for something a little bit more robust on the life insurance side. Well, that's good too. Give us a call. 
talk to one of our life specialists. We'll certainly run some quotes. Um, we will let you uh, decide, and we'll help walk you through what those solutions mean to your clients and obviously get you through that process. One of the other nice things, if you're going into our quoting tool, I forgot to mention earlier, but you can actually – run final expense quotes in addition to running Medicare Supplement, Medicare Advantage. We also just updated the quoting tool so you can run dental quotes. You can run hospital indemnity quotes. So it's a more comprehensive tool that you can actually do some of the quoting and do some of the research prior to going into your next meeting with your client. But again, talk about their life insurance needs. Number 13, upgrade your marketing. Again, we talked about earlier how important it is for you to be marketing yourself, your company, your services, uh, you know, who you are as an advisor, um, how you interact with your clients. And that's one of the things that we really pride ourselves in. You know, we talk about this, but when we remind agents what we offer, in many cases we hear that they're surprised. Uh, we talk about how internally we have a sales, marketing, graphic, web design team that actually our agents have access to. Uh, some of these pieces you see on this page, these are pre-designed pieces that you can send us your contact information. We'll preload it into these pieces for you. We'll send it to you in a print-ready version at no cost. Uh, we have agents that call us and ask us for some web design tips, uh, social media tips. Uh, they need a, a logo created. Uh, we've just done a number of letters. A lot of agents now want to send some letters and postcards to their clients. We create those from the ground up. Maybe you send us some framework, some information you'd like presented, and our team goes to work. So again, at no cost to you. That's usually the question we get. What does that cost? That's at no cost to you if you're contracted and working with insurance advisors direct. So if you haven't been utilizing that service or you've been wondering, hey, who do I go to? Do I got to hire somebody? I really need to uh, you know, upgrade my logo or I need to upgrade some of my marketing and communication pieces with my clients. Great. Utilize our services. Let us do that for you. Uh, let us make you uh, look like you're a professional marketer, um, and we'll design those pieces for you and get those in your hands. So again, if you didn't know that was available to you, it certainly is uh, for those of you contracted with IAD. Number 14, IAD annuity selling system. Okay, um, how much risk can your clients tolerate? Now, you know, this is an important topic these days in this financial environment that we're in. Uh, I know I've been seeing numbers all over the place of portfolios being devastated uh, by what's going on. You know, the market is, is really suffering. And we work with a population that cannot afford to suffer those large losses. So if you're not doing annuities or if you haven't really ventured into this, again, utilize our internal team. We have experts experts, uh, well-versed in annuities that can help you, guide you through those pro programs, do quotes, educate you. Uh, we've got a whole uh, a kit that you can utilize so when you go into the home, you know which questions to ask your clients, you know which data to, to get from them. You bring that back to us and we can go on the hunt for a proper annuity. Now, these annuity products, I would not say that they should make up someone's entire financial portfolio, but there is certainly an important part. You know, these are for the dollars that people cannot have exposed to the market or the risk of the market. If something were to happen, this is money they can't lose. So for those dollars, these people are more than willing to take a, you know, three, five, seven percent return on a consistent yearly basis than have them exposed to potential market downturns. So especially in today's environment, what an important conversation to have with your clients. Talk to them about their money, uh, their risk tolerance, their safe money, and give us a call. Let us help walk you through what solutions exist. And again, a lot of this in these conversations uh, are probably – uh, well received today because of the events going on. You know, when you talk to, I was just talking to one of our lead trainers, and he talks about event leads, how events in people's lives change things. 
well, we're all facing a, a very serious event that is life-changing for many people. So it's important to utilize this time to have these conversations with your client. So that is our top 14 sales ideas for 2020. Uh, now, we actually have a list of these in a nice piece, which I'll show you here. So everyone who attended today will make sure we send this out to you. So it's just a helpful reminder piece of each of the 14 ideas that we talked about today. Um, also, tell you a little bit about some of our upcoming sales events. So again, we do our Friday webinar series. You can see that uh, one of the next ones is Medicare sales, what are you leaving on the table? Uh, that piece will be sent out probably early next week as an invitation. Next week, we also have a final expense presentation, uh, the need for final expense, how to prepare, how to present that. We also have a HAP uh, webinar coming up Thursday, the 26th. A couple of the other things we've been doing that you'll see an invitation next week is we have been recording with all of our carriers that have e applications so that you can be better equipped if you're staying home and you're protecting you and your clients and you still need to do some enrolling. We've been doing trainings on each of the e-enrollment platforms with our carriers. We'll be sending an invitation out next week so that you can view those pre-recorded sessions where those carriers show you how to use those e-apps. Um, also, you can call our sales teams. We'd be more than happy to walk you through that on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So that's coming up. The other thing that's not posted here is for some of you who have been working with us for some time, you know that we do our IED sales summit a couple of times a year. Those are live meetings. Unfortunately, we had to cancel those live meetings and put it into a virtual setting. So that is coming up April 2nd. I believe that is a Thursday. You should be receiving an invitation probably today if you haven't already. And that will be talking about some of the different products, selling opportunities, and carrier representatives that we'll have coming on board. Uh, there we'll also be talking about some of the same things we talked about today, uh, but getting into more uh, in-depth and more detail. We'll be talking about the dual step market, how it's happened to that. Uh, we'll be talking about limited medical, life insurance. We'll be doing a full presentation of the Capital Life. So again, that's our upcoming IAD Sales Summit, which you'll get an invite to as well. So here's just some of the upcoming events that we're putting on, again, to make sure that we're providing you the proper tools uh, and being your resource to continue to grow your sales and uh, to diversify if uh, that's something that you're interested in doing. So here is our contact information. Uh, you can reach out to our office by email, by phone, uh, through our website. And again, keep an eye out for some of these additional invitations that will be coming to you through your email very soon. And we certainly hope that this was a beneficial uh, morning. Uh, we appreciate you spending it with us. And again, hopefully you can take some of these ideas and fit them into your sales practice and really benefit you and your clients by putting them to use. So again, we look forward to hearing from you. We look forward to continuing to work with you. We thank you for uh, you know working with Insurance Advisors Direct. Uh, and again, we hope everyone has a great day. Uh, stay safe uh, and also have a great weekend.